Guys, Mr. Everything here, back with another movie review video. And in today's video, we're going to be reviewing Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. All right, so just two things right off the bat, just real quick. So this screen you're looking at right now, don't worry. You're not going to be looking at the screen the whole video. I'm going to be adding clips and images from the film just to add entertainment. And also how I do my reviews, you know, I'll talk about the story, the cast, give some of my positives, some of my negatives, and then give my score. So starting off with the cast, obviously you got Chris Pratt returning as Owen, Bryce Dallas Howard returning as Claire, you got... uh. Jeff Goldblum returning as Ian Malcolm. Well, sort of. I'll get to that in a second. And a few other new characters that I didn't really like that much. In the story, you guys pretty much saw it in the trailer. Which, by the way, just giving my thoughts on the trailers. I thought the marketing for this film was very poor. I actually thought it was horrible. Because, for example, every trailer and every TV spot they put out for this film, it was they were all very underwhelming. And none of them raised my excitement level. My excitement level for the film has stayed the same. At a very mad level. At a very, you know, oh, I'll see it but I don't really care and after seeing the film my my assignment level is still at that which is why this you know this film I, don't, I just don't really care you know I just got what I expected you know just a fun blockbuster just eat get some popcorn enjoy the movie there you go uh but yeah the story you guys saw it in the trailers you know the dinosaurs they're on the island with the volcano Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard is there attractive people to save the day and there you go. That's pretty much, you know, everything in the film, you know, just like, I, you know, I'm just going to keep this review short. I'm not even going to lie. So just start with the positives. Chris Pratt by Styles Howard. They're attractive. They're cool, likable characters. Their characters are sort of improved from the first one, but not that much. The action scenes are done very well. I like the action in this film. I really love the first half of this film, like the first hour, and then it falls apart towards the end, which I actually heard a lot in a lot of reviews. But speaking of the reviews, when I went to go see this film yesterday on Thursday, a lot of reviews were saying, oh, it falls apart near the end. The second half is worse than the first half. I would agree with that 100%. And speaking of the reviews, this actually has a negative Ron Tomato score. It has a 53% on Ron Tomato. Whereas the first Jurassic World has a 71%. So the first one is fresh. This one is uh, rotten. I agree with that. I think the first one's better. Um, you know, not by a long shot. They're both very similar. But this film falls apart towards the end. So that doesn't do it any favors. Uh, so yeah, that you know, I agree with it. That, that's all I'll say about that. Um, the Some more positives. I think it's very well directed. The imagery is beautiful. You know, the score is great. Obviously, the classic Jurassic uh, Park score is in there. Um, you got the references to the first Jurassic Park films. Those are cool, I guess. Um, but J.A. Bayona directs this. He's a very talented director. You know, he directed The Impossible, A Monster Cause. And this film just shows, yet again, a director that should stay in the mid-range to low-budget film range. Because this film just feels like a very studio film. And I guess just jumping into my negatives, that would be all my positives, pretty much. But jumping into my negatives, that would be one of my negatives. It feels like a very studio film. What does that mean? That feels like a studio, you know, they hire a director, they hire actors to make a film, but they make the film themselves, pretty much. How do they make it? Because they tell them, hey... Don't do anything cool with this. Just make just make a serviceable movie. It will get asses in seats. Jurassic Park, dinosaurs, Chris Pratt's in it. Just don't don't do anything with it. That's pretty much what they say. And they and yes, they want to make the best film as possible. But they the first Jurassic World pretty much paved the way with this Jurassic franchise has turned into just fun blockbusters that you just go see with your friends. And this second film, Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom. Proves that theory right. Just go see it with your friends. You got attractive people in here. Explosions. And there you go. But I guess jumping into my other negatives. It would also be this film feels very unnecessary. Yet again, it feels like a very studio film. It feels like they just made it just because, oh, we got to make it. We got to get three of these bad boys out. So just, so just fuck it. We got to make it. Just hurry up. And, you know, this is no spoiler. They confirmed they're making a Jurassic World 3. And this film does set up another Jurassic World and yet again it just feels very just set up ish like uh, I don't know I just and yet again none of this is affecting me as much as a lot of other reviews like a lot of people are bashing this film well deserved but me personally I just didn't care you know yet again the trailers didn't get me excited so I got what I expected so that's why I don't really care as much yeah I st I'm still disappointed but I just I just don't care I'm just like meh like I said the trailers they kept me meh so that's how I'm gonna stay 
Um, some other negatives, you got some you got a few side characters in here. You got this kid in here. He's horrible. He pretty much whines and complains the whole movie. He has a couple comedic elements. Like, I get why they had him in the movie to, you know, he's the funny guy. But he's still very annoying. It's this other smart teenage girl or, you know, she has glasses. She's smart. There you go. The villains are horrible. The main villain is horrible. Um... Uh, just overall, uh, I'm just going to keep it short, you guys. So I'm going to give Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom a C-. minus. It was what I expected. Like I said, everything is pretty much... Oh, and it falls apart at the end. Like I said, the, f the first half is very good. It takes place on the island. A cool action. And the second half... You know, the trailers show it. It's in, like, this haunted mansion. It doesn't do it any favors. Just overall, just go see the film if you guys want to. Be sure to like and subscribe if you guys are new. Comment down below if you guys saw it. Let me know what you guys thought. Um, and, and check out my other movie reviews, trailer reviews, and have a great rest of your day. All right, bye, guys.